It is Tuesday, December the 18th, 2012. This is what the Toronto Star looks like. And here we have Lucky playing with a string. Let's go, Lucky. There we go. And I just want to talk a little bit about Christmas and about Lucky's Christmas. My dad uh, had Lucky since 2006. Uh, outside cat is stray and my dad was feeding him and uh, he's also feeding uh, Mooch who's been ar around a lot longer uh, actually 2010 both cats we adopted both cats and uh, Mooch was an old cat we don't know how long but in the last uh, year or so of his life he was battling uh, feline chronic kidney disease and it got to a point where uh, he needed subcutaneous injection and special feeding and all sorts of things. And the last week in June, he, it was especially bad. We had to uh, bring him to the vet and uh, pull out some rather extraordinary measures to keep him alive and things. And then, the last week in June, actually it was June 28th, where Mooch threw up and the material was black and just horrifying. And my husband took one look at what happened and what was on the carpet and uh, took uh, Mooch immediately to the vet. And I only now really have I been able to tell the story without crying or getting weepy. Again, Mooch has uh, chronic renal failure. He's also quite old. Of course, I think the two go hand in hand. And uh, he needs about 100 milliliters of subcutaneous injection every day. We do that in the evenings. And he also needs to be encouraged to drink. It's almost like he forgets that what water's for. So you have to present him with water, shake the water so that he, you know, can see the it sparkle. But most times he doesn't need, really need a drink, but we present the water fairly regularly. And he still likes his treats. Right, Mooch? A lot of people were asking for you and how you're doing. Yeah, they think you're neat. I do too. It is Thursday, June the 28th, 2012, and uh, Mooch just threw up this black stuff. It's all black, and it smells like uh, necrotic. And uh, Peter just uh, is running and rushing him to the vet, and I'm so, so scared of what will happen. Just smells so foul. Man, we've never seen this before. He threw it up. It's like he waited for me. I just <laughs> waited for me to th to see him throw this up. <laughs> and I'm just worried he's not coming back. <laughs> anyway. And to all those people right now whose cats are battling. Uh, this kidney disease. Don't give up. Just make sure you give them the best uh, end of life that you can, but there will come a time when you may have to face the horrible, horrible question of euthanasia. And all I can say is it's, it's a horrible thing, but eventually the veterinarian makes it easy for you. Well, <laughs> we'll make it clear cut for you. Uh, our vet when I finally walked in, my husband had called me from the veterinarian's office and I walked in the door and the veterinarian immediately said to me, it's time. And missing Mooch terribly. And in the meantime, we we're treasuring Lucky here. Right, Lucky? Lucky. Lucky. Luck, luck. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky, come on. Okay, it's not going to happen. Lucky, how about this way? You going to show us your face? <laughs>